Want to do an online migration to Azure Managed Instance? So do I. In this video series, I'm going to walk through my favorite tool, Azure Data Studio with the SQL migration extension. And we're going to walk step by step getting that database from our SQL server that's located within an Azure VM to our Azure Managed Instance. If this is your first time finding us over at Tales from the Field, give us a like and give us a subscribe. Speaking of subscribe, thank you to all of those subscribers that have decided to join us along this incredible journey. You make this ride special. And for those new to the content, if you're liking what you're seeing, please hit that like button and please hit that subscribe. Also, I'd like to mention we have content that drops every Tuesday for our community roundtable where we discuss blogs, videos, any great content that's by created by you, the Azure data community for the Azure data community. We also have this thing we like to call MS Tech Bits. We drop them on Mondays and Wednesdays. You're watching one of those now. Let's get over to it. It's more and more common for me to get that question. How do I migrate to Azure Managed Instance from my on-premises SQL Server or my SQL Server on a VM in Azure? Well, we can use Azure Data Studio with Azure SQL Migration Extension. Yes, we have Log Replay Service, we have Managed Instance Link, and we can even do a recovery. But this is the easiest way I find to get my clients moving forward to migrate to Azure SQL Managed Instance. You can see here some of the different advantages that the Azure SQL Migration Extension gives us. So in this video series, we're gonna be going through step-by-step step on how to get there. Here you can see an Azure SQL Migration Extension for Azure Data Studio architectural diagram. We're not gonna focus on the left side of this diagram because we're not gonna be using anything on-premises. We're gonna mainly be focusing on the right-hand side. Everything we're gonna do is gonna be in Azure. We're gonna be backing up our SQL Server that's hosted in an Azure VM to URL to our Blob Storage account there. Then the data migration service is going to be able to pick up those backups directly. Let's flip over real quick to the tutorial that inspired this video. Here you can see the tutorial. We're going to zoom in here. What we're going to be covering in this first video is these two first steps, the launching of the SQL wizard in Azure Data Studio and then running the assessment. We're also going to cover the rest of these steps in the future videos. You're also going to get an added bonus. We're going to do some of this via CLI. Before we run a migration, we have a list of prerequisites we need to meet. I recommend you read through these. The link will be provided in the description. It's going to tell us what we need to be installed, what level of access is required, the different types of ports that are required. So I definitely recommend you go over these prerequisites. All right, let's turn the page. All right, here we have documentation on what the Azure SQL migration extension for Azure Data Studio brings to the table. The link for this will also be in the description of the video, but it talks about how we can assess our databases for compatibility, say for example, to Azure SQL DB managed instance, or a VM, we're doing managed instance here. It also covers how we can get the SKU recommendation for our managed instance by doing a data collection on our source SQL Server instance. Definitely worth the read to understand all the goodness that the extension brings to the table. With the PowerShell Data Migration Service Module, or Azure CLI, we can use the capabilities of our Azure SQL Migration Extension together with the Azure Database Migration Service to migrate one or more databases at scale, including databases across multiple servers. For this particular demo, we're gonna be utilizing the SQL Server Assessment. Throughout the video series, we're gonna be using more of those cool Azure CLI sample scripts. Okay, for our environment, we're gonna have an application server. This is where we're gonna run our workload against our SQL Server instance. We're going to have our jump box. That's where Azure Data Studio and our other tools are going to be installed. They're not going to be on our production server. We're going to have our SQL Server instance. That's going to contain our databases that we're going to migrate. We're going to have our blob storage. That's where we're going to back up to URL and the data migration service will restore from. And we're going to have our managed instance. That's going to be the target of our migration. All right. Understanding our environment, let's flip over to Azure Data Studio. Over here on the left-hand side, you're going to see this little box. This is our extensions. We're going to want to check that Azure SQL migration is installed. If it's not installed in the search box there, type in Azure SQL migration and go ahead and install it. 
Let's go ahead to our connections. You can see here that I'm connected to my Data ADS MSQL. You can see we have our set of databases. We're going to use the Stack Overflow Large and the Wide World Importers for our video. We're going to go up to our server. We're going to select Manage. It's going to take us to our management dashboard. Here you can see underneath General, we have our Azure SQL migration. That's the extension that we installed, and that's what we're going to use to migrate our database from our SQL server to our managed instance. We're going to go up here. We're going to select Migrate to Azure SQL. We're going to select Start a New Session. Then we're going to scroll down. We're going to hit Next. It's going to take our databases for assessment. We're going to select our all of our databases. We'll just assess them all. We're going to go ahead and click Next. Once we click next, it's going to start the assessment. The assessment will be in process. This took about a minute on my side, but once it's done, we're going to want to go here. We're going to select Azure SQL Managed Instance for our target. Select View Select, and you can see here it takes us to the screen, and it's showing us we have some issues underneath our databases. In this one in particular, we have some OLTP incompatibility issues. Then you can see up here in our instances, we have our warnings. So let's go ahead and click on the instances and see what our warnings are. Underneath our instance, we can see here it's calling out that we have trace flags that are incompatible with our managed instance. So the assessment's essentially telling us these are blockers to migrating to Azure managed instance, and we need to take care of those. We're going to select the Stack Overflow Large. We're going to hit Select. And this is where we're going to stop here for this particular demo. Next demo, we'll go a little bit deeper into the migration, but I wanted to show you that we can also do this assessment with Azure CLI. You can see here my CLI version and the extension that I've installed here, the Azure SQL migration extension. We're going to run the AZ data migration git dash assessment. We're going to put in a connection string. We're going to put our output. That's going to run the same assessment we ran in Azure Data Studio. You can see here that it took about a minute to run. Let's go to the output folder. If we open up this output here, we're going to open it in Edge. You can see here that it's giving us output of our assessment. And you can see here, for example, we have a warning about Azure SQL agent jobs and not being supported right in Azure SQL database. And it gives us some suggestions there. I did talk to the program group about this output to see if we were going to get something like what we have with Data Migration Assistant, where it would create a report for us. It's in the works, but we don't have a timeline yet as to when that's going to be available. But the plans are right now, and this could change, but the plans are to incorporate output from a data migration assessment or an Azure data assessment that's run through CLI into Azure Data Studio with an extension. All right, we started out this video series strong. We know we need to migrate to managed instance. We know the tool we're gonna use now, we're gonna use Azure Data Studio with the SQL migration extension. We're gonna migrate a database from our SQL Server instance that's located in, within a VM in Azure. We identified some of the prerequisites. We saw what the SQL migration extension brings to the table. We also started the assessment in Azure Data Studio with the SQL migration extension. We saw what that provided us. We also looked at the Azure CLI component where we could run an assessment as well. Looking forward to the next part of this video series where we're going to get into a little trouble. We're going to deploy the data migration service. We're going to also look at different ways where you can identify the SKU. We're going to run a workload against our SQL Server database. We're going to get some performance metrics against that, and it's going to tell us or give us an estimate of what size SKU we need within our managed instance. Looking forward to the next video, and always be good to each other. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a